yes, you have read the title and the thumbnail of this video correctly, and no, I am not Martin Scorsese. I am just a random cinema lover and a part-time YouTuber sharing my opinion on the MCU and its impact on the cinema industry at the moment. The Marvel Cinematic Universe has been the greatest, most successful movie franchise for a pretty long, long time now. And there is no doubt that they well and truly deserve that title due to the insane amount of joy and entertainment this franchise has produced among millions and millions of movie-going audiences across the world. But it is also true that over the last few years, more specifically after the release of Avengers Endgame in 2019, the MCU has been progressively loosing its charm. And now it has come to the point where it seems like the franchise has not only become detrimental for itself, but for the entire cinema industry. Before diving deeper into this topic, I am going to request you to spend just one second of your time to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel because that is the only thing which motivates me to keep working harder and bring you more and more such awesome videos. Okay, now let us get back to the main topic once again. It is no secret anymore that the MCU right now is just a one-trick pony with their only selling point being the multiverse and cameos of some past Marvel characters. Every movie nowadays is devoid of any substance and is just nostalgia baiting for millennial man-children and cat ladies. It almost feels like Marvel is squeezing every single penny they can out of nostalgia, and quite surprisingly, it also seemed to be working. And right now, I personally feel like this nostalgia bait and this whole multiverse thing is getting way out of hand. And I know very well that a movie having cameos has no bearing on its quality. A lack of cameos doesn't automatically mean a project is good, and a movie having cameos doesn't mean it's bad. However, the problem with most of these more recent Marvel movies is that they have nothing else to offer other than these crossover cameos and a few cringe, awful jokes. And this MCU problem is not just a Marvel problem or a comic book problem. This is something that seems to be slowly affecting the entire movie industry. To understand the bigger problem, what you need to accept first is the fact that the Marvel Cinematic Universe has now become some kind of a role model for every other movie franchise, big and small, not just in America, but across the globe. In short, every studio wants to be like Marvel and earn easy money, even though it's not logically possible for them. A large section of movies these days seem to be focused entirely on action spectacle and teasing future movies and big events rather than crafting unique stories. Every filmmaker somehow wants to create a cinematic universe of their own by making useless and pointless sequels and numerous spin-offs. One of the most recent examples is the sequel to Joker, which turned out to be one of the worst sequels of all time, which unfortunately also ruined the legacy of the first movie, which was considered by many as one of the greatest comic book movies of all time. Another prominent example is the Star Wars franchise, which seems to have totally lost its originality and uniqueness, and is nothing more than an MCU bootleg at the moment, and it seems like they are trying really hard to force comedy into scenes, even when it's not appropriate. We can also refer to the example of the MonsterVerse, which started off as this dark and brooding monster universe, where Godzilla and Kong were shown to be these larger-than-life atomic titans, representing the dangers of the exploitation of nature caused by human beings. Fast forward a decade, Godzilla has somehow gotten inspired by Barbie, and Kong has become this cute and adorable little gorilla. And it is really sad to see how brainwashed audiences have become because they love watching these awful nostalgia baits and have problems with movies like the Batman, Batman vs. Superman, and Tenet, which has heart and actually try to tell a unique and good story. And mind you, I do not have any problems with cameos and crossovers as long as they do not affect the overall quality of the movie. But it becomes a problem when people love and promote projects like She-Hulk just because it has a cameo of Daredevil in a shitty yellow costume and this hideous creature called the Abomination from The Incredible Hulk. Ask yourself, would you view and enjoy Deadpool 3 or Spider-Man No Way Home as much as you did if I somehow took away all the cameos of these classic Marvel characters? Try and answer this question with all honesty, and you would know exactly what I am talking about in this video. Now, I know a lot of people over here are going to get pissed off and triggered by what I said during the course of this video, but let me tell you that I do not care, because this is entirely my opinion. This is my general opinion and consensus on cinema at the moment, and I am not ashamed to put it in front of you. You can hate me all you want for saying it loud, but I am going to stand my ground and reaffirm the fact that the Marvel Cinematic Universe at this point is bringing down and degrading the overall quality of cinema at this point. So that is all I had to share in this video. 
please let me know your thoughts on the MCU and its overall impact on cinema at the moment in the comments down below. If you enjoyed watching, please do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.